you got feet, that's a good thing. <laughs> we just assist hatched uh, a California condor chick. This was uh, our last egg, looks like, of the season. We uh, typically wait about 72 hours after they first start to break out of the shell, and if they haven't actually managed to hatch on their own, uh, that's the point at which we assist them. It's hard to say why this one wasn't able to hatch. This egg didn't get as much natural incubation as we would have liked. Uh, typically we like to, the eggs to have, you know, about a week to 10 days natural incubation from the hens. This one we were not able to get that natural incubation. Uh, so that could have been part of the problem, though also this hen uh, has produced a lot of eggs that have been very, very challenging. When we do an assist hatch, how involved it is depends entirely upon whether the chick is correctly positioned in the shell or not. Fortunately, this chick was correctly positioned in the shell, so it was a fairly straightforward assist hatch. Essentially amounts to just breaking away enough shell that we can get the chick out. Typically what we like to see is around 50 hours or so, they actually start to rotate in a counterclockwise direction themselves breaking away shell and then they, they uh, knock the big end of the shell off and hatch. So if we don't see that, uh, that's when we have to get in and assist. Because this pair doesn't have a lot of experience, it would be a little bit dicey to have assist hatch this chick and then give it back to the pair. Though the focus of our facility is always to parent rear whenever possible. But with this chick, we will probably go ahead and, and puppet rear. Ideally, the way puppet rearing goes is uh, our involvement with the chick is actually as minimal as possible. So what we will do is uh, as soon as possible we'll take a chick, the chick down and we'll actually put it in a nest room where it has visual access to an adult outside. By doing that what it allows us to do is and the, the chick really focuses more on the adult outside than on us, which is what we want. And then as soon as the chick is old enough we'll fledge it in with an adult mentor burden. Typically that's around four to six months. You know, we were fortunate because the chick was in the correct position, all the, the uh, blood vessels had dried up, so it was pretty straightforward to hatch it out. Because the California condor, condor population reached such low numbers, there really isn't a whole lot of genetic variability within the population, and so uh, all, of the, all of the birds at this point are, are still very, very valuable. And we treat them on a case-by-case -case basis. So this chick is very valuable.